Hello, I our friends. We're back. This week, Alan is once again a traitor. See how he can live with himself. And for me, I've got another awesome mail call from Pop Sadic and 4C Comics, two of my favorite peoples. But first... Boom. Was dancing. Yeah, I was too. I always dance with that. All right, everybody. We need to bring, let's pay the bills here. All right. We got to should we give a shout out to our friends at Gator Guard Comics? The link is in the description. Go check them out. They do provide books for the monthly giveaway, which we will be showing today for the month of April. And they have some great products that from Beckerman and myself both use on the regular. Go check them out. And if you're ever in the My products, areas, great people. If you're ever in the Augusta area, check out ABX Comics and Games. They will help you out with all of your needs. And if your local shop's not doing it and you want a long-distance shop, hit up Paul on Facebook. He'll hook you up. Alan, you just flew through those. You're, you're, you're an ad man, but you're also a traitor. I am a traitor. Be the one of the last trades I do, I guess. I don't know. We'll find what? Out. Uh, well, I mean, see. I don't, well, I don't I buy that. A lot. You know, I sold a lot, so I don't have a whole lot to trade anymore. I, mean, I kept what I want to keep. <laughs> so, you know. All, All right. right. You going to show us we'll what you see. got, bro? We'll see. You going to show us what you got? Oh, you want me to go first since you got first. the big banger? Yeah, big it's not a that big of a banger. I mean, you're very excited about it. Though. I am very excited about it, but it's, yeah. Well, folks, this came from 4C Comics. Um, I got this during a Bill Morrison and his sketchy friends. I was uh, co-hosting with Ken. It was just the two of us. We had legends with us. Uh, Sergio Aragones um, of Gru, Mad Magazine fame. Stan Sakai was on there. Uh, Bill Morrison, of course. Uh, Simpsons legend that he is as amongst movie posters and all sorts of Futurama and other stuff. But Scott Shaw was there. Scott Shaw was a big part of my childhood because he worked on on uh, shows like Muppet Babies and uh, Garfield and Friends, Hanna Barbera's uh, Flintstones, stuff like that. But he also created the character Captain Carrot. Oh God. For DC Comics. So I oh, got a Captain God. Carrot from Captain Scott Carrot. Shaw. Nice. It's a good picture. It's really good. Well done. Yeah, yeah. He did it uh, just... He's so fast. Like, this was minutes. Just minutes. And he had that busted out. Then up next, I've got some stuff from Pops Attic. When Pops puts up a bundle and it entails, like, an entire series, yeah. I always get intrigued. Yeah, well, yeah. So I picked this up from him. This is uh, the Outcasts. It's a DC comic, uh, co-written by Alan Grant. Um, all in one story, uh, dystopian future. Like it says at the top, twelve issue future shocker. So this is about uh, a group of mutants being hunted by a corrupt, like kind of organized <laughs> crime government that has now made uh mutants uh illegal okay to be in the city that they're in and yeah so this is 12 issues of uh an entire series so you get the whole you get the whole kit and caboodle here paid like under a dollar a book for this yeah because pops is awesome like, yeah and pops he's just getting too. rid of He's just getting trying to trim the collection down. I'll be there someday, maybe. Pop's attic is um, just a place. Yeah, it's hard for you. You don't like the part with books, and it so it's. I understand. Yeah, that. but it's, I'm sure Pop's felt that way at one point in his life. Well, I believe Mark has a little bit of help in that, honestly. Yeah, Mark. Mark. Mark's more of a. If it's is taking it, up do space, we want this, it's not making. Do we want it. this to stay? Do we want this to stay? You know. Yeah. He'll help him out there. 
And then we got issue 11. I'm just showing these quick. I mean, I'm going to read the series I'm, before I put it away. I'm excited. I would really love to see Pops' collection, though. Get a little bit of a uh, view. Break of into it. his house. I'm sure he's cool with that. No, I'm not doing that. Are you crazy? Yeah, break into a Dude. retired police officer's house. That, that'll that go well for you. <laughs> Make a lot of sudden movements and kick the door in. Yeah, <laughs> quick like cat, right? <laughs> see, see what happens. Spectre and Spectres. Uh, he threw this in there. Pops always throws freebies in. You never know. Mm -hmm. what Constantly. And, uh, issue 7 of Spectre. So Spectre, Inspectors, and Spectre. And then I also picked this up. This is all four issues of a limited series. And we got Swashbuckling Nightcrawler. My goodness. Just look at him and all his swashbuckliness. You know, I have a I have a I have a confession to make. Well, I, I enjoy Nightcrawler. I, I just think the character is well drawn. I that's think a weird confession. Like I is. like a comic book character. And well, we're gonna need to talk the thing about is, confessions. Like, I don't want his story. I don't care about his story. I just think I just like Nightcrawler the way he's drawn. I just think it. Yeah. Oh, he's great looking character. David Cockrum, of course, designed him and originally was going to be a member of Legion of Superheroes. Uh, Dave, when he parted ways with DC, had a few characters he had designed out that he was going to bring in and and then he had his falling out over their failure to return some art he had wanted um that he had a buyer lined up for and they said no we're not going to play that we're going to keep the art and he said mm -hmm. okay I'm I'm getting out of here and he he went and next thing you know night crawlers in giant size x-men number 1 so always uh useless facts from beckerman but uh but yeah, Nightcrawler. What a character. All right. So, as I said, I've sold most of the collection, but I'm still collecting. I'm just going to narrow it. I think I'm going to focus in on more on reading independent books. Um, stay away from the mainstream like Marvel and DC. Um, Mark got me into Ghost Machine, so I'm all in on that. Uh, but... uh. And uh, pick up keys here and there, and uh, maybe a few covers that I love of particular artists. Have to be a particular artist for me to do that, though. But this book, I was chasing from, I don't know, day one, I guess you could say, outside of that guy right there. Um, I've been chasing this and trying to get it, trying to pull off trades, trying to get it at the right price, just not being able to secure it. And I finally dealt up a trade, and I got something really cool with it. So this is none other than Ultimate Fallout 4, first printing, first appearance of Miles Morales. Win an 8-5 signature series signed by Mike uh, Brian Michael Bendis with the uh, logo. It's and pretty. It is very pretty. It is very, very pretty. Um, I'm so ecstatic to have this. I, you can't tell by my face, but I just woke up. I'm sorry, but here we go. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really happy to have this really, really happy to have this in the collection. So happy to finally have a first print. I mean, cause I have the facsimile. I have the second print. I have the acetate gate. I have, you know, all of the, 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 the reprint. I have all that. <laughs> so, but, uh, um, Yeah. A lot of people have referred to this as our era of AF-15. I, I think that eventually Peter Parker is going to go away. I, I eventually believe Peter Parker will go away, and all we're going to have left is the Spider-Verse and Miles Morales. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. And to also... <laughs> Tell everybody what this month's giveaway is. All right. One what are we going to have, Alan? Who, what are the people going to have a chance to win? They're going to have a book that we've already given away once. Let's try it again. Um, this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 143. The Gator Guard exclusive. That one. And this Carnage Alpha cover. As far as the artist goes, I have no idea. 
I have no clue. I can't remember how I came across this book, but I was like, I'm going to pass this along. But I thought this was a this is a great book to add to the giveaway. So those two books right there could be yours. I might even throw a third book in there that, mm, yeah, you never know. <clears throat> so well, heck, Alan, that's just fantastic. <laughs> so how do the people win this? They they've you got a comment. Make a comment. Right? Just comment. Any and comment. You never know what video it's going to be. That's right. We pick one of the four. Usually four, sometimes five, but one of the four from the month, and we will uh, just do a random comment picker. Um, so just give us a comment, guys, and uh, let us know what you think. Uh, hopefully, I hopefully you like the UF four. Um, I love the UF four. I love the books that Beckman picks up from Pops Attic. Those are always interesting and uh, got a great story behind them. So. And we are done with the semi room remark. Done? Well, uh, I mean, I'm not adding anything to it. Oh, I got to put Miles on the wall. Yet. <laughs> yeah, not done yet. But anyway, until next week, guys, we will see you later. Bye, everybody.